Okay, this tutorial is on Jeopardy Labs, my favorite all-time Jeopardy type game found on the internet. I haven't been able to find a better one. If there is one, let me know, but this is great, especially for educators. So let's build our first Jeopardy game. What we're going to do is we're going to hit the Start Building button. Then you're going to type in a password. You want to remember that password because that's how you're going to be able to edit the game. You're going to hit Start Building. Okay, right up here you're going to enter your title. We'll just call this Test. And then you've got five different categories. You don't have to use them all, but if you want to, you can. I'm just going to use one category for this tutorial. We're going to just call this Test as well. Then we're going to click on the numbers going down. First one, 100 points. Remember that in Jeopardy, you give the answer and then the student's going to have to give the question. So you'll say, uh, I don't know, what do you, um, we'll just say a tripod. Okay, and then down here the question is, what is a dog with three legs and then you hit save okay once you're all done here's your save button down here once you're all done it'll give you this link you can then click on that link and decide how many teams you want to play hit start here's your question click on it if a after a kid says you know it's a dog with three legs she's show the correct response. Team 1 gets 100 points. If Team 2 missed it, they get minus 100 points and so forth. Uh, to show you what a real game looks like that's already been built, we're just going to go to JeopardyLabs.com and we're going to just browse real quick and let's just say Happy Holidays. Decide how many teams you want. You can have up to 12. Click Start here you go, movement, the easiest way to improve core strength, correct resp um, I have no idea, exercise maybe, and what's correct posture, so I got it wrong and I'd give myself a zero. And that's how you play Jeopardy Labs.